Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create a custom modal inside of Webflow um, in three different ways. Now, in that video, I got two comments asking me the same thing about how to add a cookie to the modal. So for example, uh, Luis Carter said, can you make a cookie notification pop up? And OLED WW50 asks, um, is there a way to only have the modal come up once per user, not every time a user comes to a website? So yeah, I'll show you how to add a cookie to the user's computer after they've closed your custom modal. Ready to learn? Here we go. Okay, here we go. So this is the same project I did a couple of videos back showing off how to do three modals. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to set a cookie when someone closes the modal. Like say if I click on the outside right here or when I click on the X. All right. So let's get to it. I'm going to go into my modal one and I'm going to make a note of the two elements that are closing this modal. Okay, so it's close modal BG and close modal. All right, so now that I have that in my head, it's time to find the code to make this all happen. Now, this is the code. It's coming from a GitHub called JS Cookie. All right. And just like it says, it's a simple, lightweight JavaScript API for handling cookies. Now, if you go to this page, you may get confused because it is code. If you're not familiar with JavaScript, this can be daunting. This can look weird to you. That's fine. I'm going to break it down as easily as I can for you. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Webflow. I'm going to open up Sublime Text. And here's the code, the basic of basics of the code. All right. So we'll start with line one. Line one is the actual magical JavaScript that the author has created in order for you to make this cookie work. So all this is just copy paste. OK, that part's easy. Uh, second, we're making a temporary memory inside the browser called cookie name. All right. And we can name this cookie whatever we want. So I'm going to call it modal closed. OK. Now we're going to do an if statement. We're going to tell the computer, hey, if you find a cookie inside of the computer that's called modal closed, then do me a favor, delete the modal. So that way the user can't ever see the modal again. And that's what this line says. If we find a cookie, and so cookie name, this points to this, then points to this. So get a cookie named modal closed. If the, co if the cookie is inside the computer, then we're going to remove the modal. If the computer comes back and says, I can't find it, or undefined, that's what undefined means, then don't do anything. Just keep moving on the, the, the code. But for so for this, it says find the cookie. If it's in the computer, remove the modal. All right. Now, as you can tell right here, there's a dollar sign and then parentheses and then single quotes. Right here, we need to put the name of the modal. So I'm looking here and it's just called modal. So what I can do is type in dot modal. And so that's the class name of the modal. OK. And, and again, don't worry if you're getting confused, you can just copy and paste this and change a few things around like the name of your modal. OK. Uh, I'll put the script inside of the YouTube description. All right. Now that's done. Now the next line is when you click on this element, put a cookie inside of the computer and name the cookie modal close and we'll give it a value. Now this value, you can set it to anything you want. You can just say, okay, 
you know, you're just putting some random value. It don't matter what you put here. Okay, it's all up to you. Then next we have expires seven. And so what seven means is seven days. So this cookie will remove itself seven days from when the user clicks on the close button. Okay, so that's what that seven means. Now, let's go ahead and put our close button here. So we have dot close dash modal dash bg okay so when any, whenever anyone clicks on the big area outside of the modal then a cookie will be set but wait what about the close modal the the x well you can do that too by saying comma dot close modal so that's the name of the x right here okay and what this is, it's just like, think about like you're emailing someone or you're emailing multiple people. And so when you put multiple email addresses, you have to put a comma. So what this line now means is if someone closes on, uh, if someone clicks on close modal BG or cl clicks on close modal, then set a cookie in the computer. And it's and set the uh, expiration date for seven days from now. And if you want um, less than seven days, you can put one for one day. If you don't want it to expire at all, just delete this whole thing. If you want it to be a whole year, 365. So this is up to you. It's up to you how long you want it to set it to expire. Okay. So after you're done. Uh, modifying your your modal class name and then your close modal um, buttons and uh, your value and the expiration uh, the number of days it expires you can just copy the whole thing and go to your custom code area go at the very end the body tag save and publish and it should work let's see let's see let's see okay so I'm gonna click modal there we go I'm gonna click outside cool all right so if I refresh okay I pressed refresh and I click modal one you can hear that I'm clicking nothing happens because it's been removed the modal is gone Okay, so if I go to modal two, it still shows up. Modal three still shows up. But if I go to modal one, it's gone. All right, and so that's how you do it. Oh, one more thing. So if you want to retest stuff, like you need to delete the cookie on your browser, here's a quick way to do that. You can click on the padlock and then click on cookies and then go to the site pick the site with drop down drop down and see right there we have modal closed and so that's the value that we set which was okay and then expires seven days from now and so yeah it worked uh, if you want to remove it you can just click on remove done refresh your page and then click on your modal and there you go the modal's back cool I click on this then refresh I click on the padlock and my cookie is back there okay hope this helps so there you go that's how to add a cookie to the closing of a modal all right uh, I know it's kind of complicated when it comes to custom code, but uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below or tweet them at me at the Pixel Geek, and I'll answer them as fast as I can. If you have a suggestion for a future video, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. Or if you're using this tip or any other tips that I'm showing you, leave your links below. I want to see what you're doing. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.